Hey everybody, I just want to cover uh, the ultimate Elder Triggers that you can purchase with Rising Badges 1s and why they're so good. And they're, they're not the best out there, but they're pretty solid, I would say. And this is where you go get them, Rising Badge 1 from the counter in the shopping plaza. Not bad at all. Alright, so we're going to bring this over here. We're going to show you how to use the, the trigger if you never used a trigger before. So now you know where to purchase it. You're going to come to the counter. You're going to go right here. And you're going to go down there and use your trigger. And you're going to select which one. And then you're going to select the difficulty. The last one, Ultra Heart. And this is what's what's gold about it. And let me show you exactly what you get out of this. Alright, so here you go. You can take a screenshot if you want to. This is the, the Elder Trigger drop for weapons. Uh, you're going to get several different ones in here that are going to give you Stamina 6, uh, Technique 6, Shoot 6, Power 6. You're going to get uh, Phrase Decay, Phrase Weak, Modulator Drops, and then you're going to get S1 Drop in here, Perfect Chain Will. These are great Augment weapons, especially if you can get them at 8 uh, Augment Slot Drops to use for your weapons in the future. And the drop rate in here is pretty significant where you would run in here and you have a 250% on with maybe a 50% try boost. And you would do one run. It's about 10 minutes of run. And you should average anywhere between 113 star to 413 stars. Or you can get what I've been getting is about 213 stars and 214 stars per run. Uh, I think the worst I've ever had it was only just 113 star. That's it. And I've done several of these. Now, the best part about these on top of that is that for every one trigger you run, it gives you rising weapon badges fives, which it gives you enough um, rising weapon badges per run. Uh, I would say about almost uh, about 16 anywhere. Between, about, yeah, about 16 per run, I would say close to about average. So per one run. You can you can buy back two of these triggers. Uh, I think uh, maybe I got it wrong. Maybe it's about average of 10, 10 per run. I uh, it's I haven't really checked it too much, but it, it's almost guaranteed that spending one trigger gets you two more triggers of elders. So you get one free every time you run it. It's it's an awesome cycle. Now, is the Masetta great in this one? No, maybe maybe 20k Masetta max. So it, it's nothing like how the old old one was. Uh, this is a lot harder. It's a lot more fun. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys will enjoy this a lot. All right, so Rising Weapon Badges 5. What's so good about them? Well, you can get the novel weapons. You can get everything from the Bewitched Forest area as well. Those 14 star weapons that people want, like the spread needle. Uh, you can also get the things from the, um, the urgent with the, what's called the dual birds. I can't remember the crimson something, the dragon. I can't, I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. You get all kinds of sweets. You can get all kinds of S augments that can be put on the weapon. And then you can trade downwards the values higher. 